We want to determine what is the maximum speed with which a 1,050 kilogram car can round a turn of radius 77 meters on a flat road if the coefficient of static friction between tires and road is 0.8. Is this result independent of the mass of the car? So what we want to do is we want to start with a free body diagram. We have a car. We know that it has a normal force and it has the force of gravity. And then it has the static friction towards the center of the circle, which is in the same direction as the acceleration. Then if we write down the equations that we have, or the knowns that we have, we have the mass is 1050 kilograms, R is 77 meters, and mu s is 0 0.8. So what we're going to start is we're going to look in the x direction, which we have the net force is equal to mAr, where the net force is just going to be the static friction equals to m, and it's going to be v squared over r. So we can plug in mu s times fn is equal to m v squared over r. Now we can't get any further because we don't know the normal force, so let's look in the y direction. We have net force in the y equals zero because it's not going up or down. So we have the normal force minus fg is equal to zero, where fn is equal to the force of gravity, which equals mg. So if we then go back and plug this in, we get mu s times mg equals m v squared over r. You'll notice that m's on both sides, so we cancel, and we can determine what v is. So right now we see that it's going to be independent of the mass of the car, so we get v squared is equal to r mu s times g. We take the square root, so we get v is equal to r mu s g, which equals 77 times 0 0.8 times 9.8 and we get 24.57 meters per second.